Good morning, guys. Welcome. Welcome to um, welcome to another day um, on my vacation. I'm trying to vlog my vacation. Uh, it hasn't been. It has had some ups and downs. So some of the other videos that I did um, shows like the house in like a serious disrepair. So we finally got it all painted up. There is Miss, uh, me and Mr. Mean. That's Mr. Means there in the background getting his breakfast. The um, printer and laptop right there on the counter is work. It was actually a working vacation because Mr. Means and I we own a business together. So everywhere we go the business is there so we're always doing business together everywhere we go <laughs> so, it's never really a full vacation anyways uh this is our beach house in uh jamaica at bayfront uh fia supposed to be taking her shower to go take your shower you're already late so we're supposed to be going to country today to um paint or start the painting of my mother's uh, grave um, my mother's grave is going to get painted. My sister, Wendy, has initiated that project. She likes to do that. She wanted to tile it, but she decided to paint it instead because this trip has been a little hectic um, with the up and down because she has been helping us to, she has been very pivotal with being here with us, helping us, you need to take your shower. You're wasting a whole know, lot of time right my now. Bag was in there. Not, I didn't bring one down because I thought it was in there. She's using her nine year old brain on me. Uh oh, she's moving her. Moving on. Um, yeah. So Wendy has been very pivotal in helping us to secure contractors and all that stuff. So any who's, uh, I did peep outside and I noticed that a lot of uh, fishermen, fishermen um, were outside and uh, fish, I was seeing a lot of uh, fishermen boats outside so I wanted to show you. Uh, when they go out in the morning oh they look so good because they paint the boats like all these uh, nice bright vibrant colors and I just love to see them and of course they're not here right but you know what's here the funky seaweed the sargassum um, I uh, bagged some up for my cousin because these things are great great uh, natural fertilizer and also great mulch and my cousin she has a farm in Mandeville so I bagged some up for her. I'm going to, uh, I'm always thinking about business so I'm going to go into business where I just sell the seaweed and all the slam. I did put some in the yard and um, hopefully when I go to country today I'll try to get some ackee. I mean, I want to plant an Aki, an East Indian mango, and an apple tree in the backyard. So hopefully I can get some of um, those three plants from my uncle. Uncle, uh, did I forget my uncle's name? Alex Day. going to remember so. Jeez Louise, you have fishermen on the sea coast. Oh Anyways, this is what the place looks like in the morning. Guys, I just want to tell you that there is a lot of Airbnbs here um, in Bayfront. Uh, they have rented out a lot of the Airbnbs in the high rise. A few Airbnbs in these three bedrooms. Uh, mine is a, I have also Airbnb mine. Mine is a four bedroom. Um, some of the, uh, some of the Airbnbs, they have pools, your own private swimming pool in the backyard. 
so some of these Airbnbs, they're so great, guys. And if you're thinking that if you're visiting Jamaica, you have to be in Montego Bay or Ocho Rios, you have to be on the North Coast, consider that you can stay in Kingston. We are literally about five miles from Kingston. There is a toll road right there. You just jump on the toll road. I think the toll is like $320 for a car each way. Jump on the toll road and five miles down the road, you're in Kingston. And in Kingston or New Kingston, you have the Bob Marley Museum. You have, I think it's the Patriot Park. You have the Croft Market downtown. Um, you have the waterfront, um, the beachfront in Kingston. You have a lot of uh, a lot of nice stores and restaurants that you can eat in. Um, so you can consider staying in a Portmore. Uh, you can consider staying at the beach, uh, the Bayfront Villas, and you'll be so. And it's a gated community because say you're in Jamaica. Jamaica is an underdeveloped country, so safety, safety, safety first. This is a gated community for you where you can bring your family and you can be relatively safe, right? So um, they have behind uh, these three bedrooms, they have two bedroom villas and they're also being Airbnb. They're also being um, rented as vacation rentals. So consider staying um, in Portmore. We have a lot of beaches here as well, other beaches. I think there's one called the Twin Sister Beach, Elsha Beach, and Florence Beach, I think that one's called. However, um, I didn't go to Twin Sister in Florence Beach, but I did go to Elsha Beach, and I did a video on that, and Elsha Beach is all the way eroded. But they still have great eateries and restaurants there, and the vibe, um, you know, where the Jamaican people are, the vibe will always be there. But very sadly, extremely sad for them, they have lost the beach. So, but you can still go there for a nice fish dinner, lobster dinner, shrimp dinner, all of that stuff. So this is the um, Bayfront, uh, Bayfront Villas and Apartments in Portmore. This is what you get to see. This is the harbor. It's super beautiful, guys. Super beautiful, relaxing. You can come out on your balcony right there and you just sit out drink your coffee that's what I do in the mornings I sit out drink my coffee or sometimes I come right here and just sit um, some of the other owners they do put out seats as well or you can walk along the shoreline if the beach is clean enough because come on folks let's be honest with ourselves uh, I'm not here to deceive anyone about what it is or what it isn't. But when you come, you get to experience the real authentic Jamaican culture, and which is the point. You don't want to go somewhere and be stuck in a resort singing and drinking and losing yourself. You want to be inside the culture of the country that you visited to get a real um, first eye witness view of what the culture is all about so um this is the coastline bayfront villas and apartments in Fort Worth, jamaica in the parish of st catherine also i must say the beach line is eroding we need someone uh, because it looks like the homeowners can't do it themselves so we need someone to come and help us uh, to fix the shoreline because it is eroding and we're going to lose this beach like Elsha lost their beach um, if this uh, coastline is not fixed so, so that uh, what is that called? a groaning? groaning? we have another one here another groaning and we have one all the way out into the water that is already totally submerged in the water. And they have all been compromised. They're broken down. So they're not protecting the shore anymore. So as a result, the shoreline is broken. right here. You can see erosion. Erosion.
erosion, erosion, erosion right there. And as a matter of fact, if I put the camera down, you can see the erosion goes even further in. So it's more eroded than actually you see on the face of the erosion. I hope I did put the camera handle properly. So we definitely need some assistance <laughs> to help us to fix this uh, beach light. And you know it's also a heritage site. I know this video is dragging, but you know it's also a heritage site because it's a harbor, right? So, um, long, long time ago, uh, back in, um, in pir piracy days, they used to use this as some sort of defense um, because you know that the pirates and other countries they would want to invade someone's territory through ships. So we had cannons over there uh, that they used to protect the harbor. And it has tons of valuable stories about how the country and the harbor was being protected. Um, across the way, you see that crap out of land over there. That's Port Royal. of good quality stories about the earthquake when half of Port Royal was submerged and then you have um, is it Black Morgan or Captain Morgan's uh, that really infamous pirate I need to brush up on my uh, history uh, but there's so much history here that needs to be developed there is one of the boats going out for the morning. Finally got one. All right, guys. So I just wanted to let you know, show you a little bit about what the mornings here look like. It's an overcast morning, uh, but it's still beautiful, still gorgeous. And um, you don't have to always go to the North Coast. You can come right to Kingston and enjoy a relatively safe neighborhood. It's gated top of the line security, uh, King Alarm uh, security company is a security company here and they are a really, really good security company. They do not allow anyone to come through the gate that does not have permission to come through the gate under any circumstances, which is, which is really good. So I hope you have a great day. Uh, coming to you from Bayfront Villas and Apartments. in uh, Portmore, Jamaica, the parish of St.